So I'm Rob Amon. I'm the Road Ecology Program Manager at the Western Transportation Institute. We conduct research on wildlife and roads all across North America. The Jackson Hole area is so rich in wildlife and wildlife are constantly moving from winter range to summer range and we have uh, recently did a project for the Jackson Hole Conservation Alliance. My name is Trevor Stevenson. I'm the Executive Director of the Jackson Hole Conservation Alliance. In general, the Alliance is looking to solve the problems where wildlife and people have conflict. One of the main areas we're seeing that is on highways with roadkill and with collisions that are caused by people either hitting wildlife or swerving to avoid wildlife. We looked at three highways in the Jackson Hole Valley. Uh, U.S. Highway 191 south of Jackson to Hoback Junction. Highway 22 across from Jackson to Wilson. And then Highway 390 from Highway 22 north to Grand Teton National Park boundary. So the study by Western Transportation Institute actually looked at all of the possible things that could be done to reduce roadkill in the area. Fundamentally, the research is very solid that the best way to reduce roadkill is to build physical wildlife crossings. And that means either an overpass over the top of the road or an underpass under the road, which will usually follow a creek or a gully of some sort. I immediately thought this would be a wonderful thing to bring to Jackson Hole because of our world-class wildlife. My name's Vance Carruth, and I am the co-convener of Safe Wildlife Crossings for Jackson Hole. Once every month, we meet to talk about uh, issues surrounding wildlife crossings, surrounding YDOT, and rebuilding of, of highways and roads here in Jackson Hole. The highest rate of wildlife vehicle collisions is actually in Jackson, in town, near the curb on US 191, near Broadway. Just the amount of damage done to cars by hitting wildlife is much higher than the cost of a wildlife crossing. At this point, we have this very detailed roadmap of where we need to build the crossings, and so we're now shifting gears into doing a lot of community outreach, as well as working with the Wyoming Department of Transportation to find the funding and to actually build the crossings. It's my job as a private citizen to know that we do have the backing of all these various organizations and all these uh, top-notch people who can make this happen for the benefit of the people and the wildlife of Jackson Hole. That, that to me is probably the most important thing I could see happen in my lifetime and uh, I believe it'll happen. <laughs>